but with my kids, I what I did, I allowed them to be, uh, you know, who they are, and and I th I spoiled them, I think. So they are you can't spoil someone by teaching them to connect with source energy. You could empower them. You could teach them to be masters of their own experience, but you can never love someone into a problem or expect good things of someone into a problem. A lot of people do some of all of it and then they blame the good feeling things they did as the problem. But yeah, the, the issue is that they don't want to work hard. <laughs> so they observe me that I am really <laughs> let us ask you some questions about them not wanting to work hard. So you're going to go somewhere and you get in the vehicle and they say, I'm going to run alongside. <laughs> they say that. No, they get in the vehicle. Yeah, but they don't want to do homework. <laughs> homework from school. They don't want to do something that... Are you telling us that your children are self-interested? Yes. <laughs> and are you telling us that whoever has assigned the homework was not interested in it enough themselves that they inspired interest in your children? So now they are asking your children to go against the laws of the universe and do something that energy is working completely against? Have you seen your children ever be interested in something because the teacher that exposed them to it was really interested in it? In other words, you teach through the clarity of your example, not through your fists or rules or laws. But if they don't want to do homework, what do I do? Because the teacher told them to do so, what do I do? Uh, they... <laughs> so let us translate that question into something that is fun. <laughs> Abraham do I follow the path of least resistance or do I follow the path of most resistance do I calibrate to something physical that doesn't feel good or do I calibrate to something non-physical that feels good so this conversation isn't about what your children are doing or what you say to affect what your children are doing this conversation as far as we're concerned is about what the path of least resistance is for you what's the path of least resistance for you pick a fight with them point out that they're lazy lay down the law ground them punish them so what is it that you really want why would you want them to focus on anything you can call it homework or you can call it something that they're interested in a project why would you want to focus on anything because it's pleasurable it feels good it's empowering it's uplifting it's fulfilling why would you want your children to focus on anything because it's empowering it's fulfilling it's satisfying and uplifting would you want your children to focus on something that is the opposite of that but they get skill the skills you know from homework the skills of writing doing the exercise how's it working out <laughs> Are you connecting with and utilizing the energy that creates worlds or are you pinched off from it as you're trying to work it out through words and action? This is the real work. So let's just stay here and let's accomplish a shift in this. So what do you believe about your kids? We'll give you some choices. Do you think that if somebody doesn't push them every step of the way, they will accomplish nothing no, I don't so do you think that they somehow got here and managed to get completely disconnected from their own guidance system that they have no inner being connection no do you think that you need to be their inner being since they're not doing a good job of connecting with theirs do you see evidence of their connection do you know for sure that they tune in to their inner being yes when you witness that how is it evidenced in their demeanor in their behavior do you ever see your children high flying yes especially when I'm flying high they fly high <laughs> so how are you gonna fly high about this subject are you gonna train that teacher oh, no I cannot can you defy the laws of the universe can you teach your children to defy the laws of the universe so here are your choices 
they can choose differently than you think is a good idea and you can allow the contrast by looking at something that keeps you in alignment or you can look right at that and feel bad yeah I think I'm comparing with other kids because others are writing nice and you know are like really really good in many things but my son but you see what you're doing <laughs> this is a good conversation you're focused on manifested results if you'll just do what the teacher says that you're supposed to do then you'll write better and you'll get better grades but mom I don't want to well I want you to want to but mom I don't want to but I want you to want to I want you to make yourself like something that you do not like I want you to disregard your own guidance system and just do what this teacher and for that matter anybody else that's bigger and stronger and holds more position I want you to just do what other people tell you that you should do in order to be on their list of good people I want to teach you conditional love in this life now we know we got as strong as we could on that because we know eh, 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 you don't want any of that so what is it that you do want I want my children to tune into their guidance I want them to know the difference between when they're in the flow and when they're not I want them to recognize an inspired moment I want them to recognize the difference between doing something because somebody said I should for the mark on the chart and doing something because my inner being is focused on it and I'm a cooperative component and I'm being called into the power of the energy that creates worlds and I can feel myself empowered in this moment which do you want for your children and we're not saying the teacher is bad we're not even saying the teacher is wrong we're saying that you got to let loose of needing to control behavior so that you can feel better or needing to control somebody else's behavior so that they can get the results that you think that they should get that's what we were talking about self-interest do your children have more than one teacher yes speak of the one that really doesn't want to do homework oh both both <laughs> pick one of them how many teachers does that one have okay my son has maybe five six teachers five or six teachers and does he ever talk about his teachers are some of his teachers inspiring yes are some of them not <laughs> so the ones that are inspiring aren't the ones we're talking about here are they yeah so the ones that are not inspiring are the ones we're talking about so this whole conversation is this Abraham my son brilliant and often connected tuned in tapped in turned on has a teacher who is not <laughs> who is going about life the hard way should I teach my son to follow that teacher the hard way or should I encourage my son to follow the path of least resistance he's doing that it's pretty easy isn't it why did it seem so hard a little bit ago yeah. oh do you want to please the teacher yes <laughs> oh. oh and you care more about how the teacher feels than how your son feels I care about both. <laughs> oh, and when you feel bad, can you get anything done in terms of true alignment? So I'm very motivated and inspired most of the time. So this is not an issue for me. Well, we don't like motivation. Yeah, I know. But that is a little bit bad. But I get interested in everything. Anyway, so, so I've been really taking this path of least resistance and I didn't push my children. And my son finished the first semester a and B A's and B's like without homework without effort <laughs> so so that was like a surprise for me Wow that he can you know he could do that well it's a surprise to me that you had success without suffering is that what you're saying to us I'm shocked that you had success without suffering we would like you to get over that all of you success doesn't come from suffering because success is the opposite of suffering suffering is not succeeding the suffering is not succeeding suffering is hanging on for dear life suffering is what a whole lot of people are doing and then they teach it as if it's the way to go because they don't see any way out of suffering and they don't want to be the only one suffering the more somebody is suffering the more they encourage others to suffer.
And the more someone is loving, the more they encourage others to love. And the more someone is having fun, the more they encourage somebody else to have fun. In other words, you don't encourage anything that you're not offering vibrationally. But all of that's neither here nor there. In other words, we don't mean for a minute that there's right and wrong going on there. We're just explaining the laws of the universe. This conversation all day, every day, if you're with us, we're talking about your point of attraction. And if you're talking about your child, we're talking about your son's point of attraction. And if we're talking about your son's point of attraction, we're talking about him in his physical body and him in his non-physical body. We're talking about the point of attraction between those two vantage points and the relationship between those two vantage points, which is why it becomes an emotional conversation all the time. And these days, more and more, we're wanting the conversation to not just be about how I feel. We're wanting you to understand that you can be an observer of things or you can be an awareness of things. You can feel things that you can't see, or you can just prudently and wisely and sufferingly and determinedly, you can just look at what is and 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 notice it and talk about it and compare it and complain about it and make rules about it. You can just keep looking at what is. And in the process of that, you deny yourself all this motion, all this enthusiasm, all this energy that is calling you, that's suffering. That's what suffering is. Suffering is having evolved and not going. That's what suffering is. So 99% of the teachers on this planet encourage suffering. You want to be over there and this is how you do it. Deprive yourself of sleep, deprive yourself of fun, 99% of teachers, you know why they teach that? They're not sleeping and they're not having fun. They're struggling. They feel like a victim. They feel like a victim and you should strive. If my students will suffer, I'll be vindicated for my suffering. No, you won't. You'll just encourage suffering. And when they graduate, they won't remember you as something good about school. You say? Yes. Okay. And just, I played prosperity game with money, uh, you know, mental money, whatever. And, and last year, I had millions of dollars. And in my, this game, I bought a private jet for Esther. And I have a pilot already, ready <laughs> to fly. She's got a pilot. He flies for Southwest. <laughs> and he takes her everywhere she wants to go and it doesn't cost that much. <laughs> We're just playing with you. That's yes. very kind of you, but mind your own business. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next